Hey guys, so people are curious about uh, how I made the bocce board because people see me with my dog bocce on the bocce board. This is the bocce board. Um, this is where bocce sits. There's a little blanket for him here. Um, and he's gone about 11,000, 10, 11,000 miles at this point over the past 10 years. I made this when he was three, he's just 13. He's sitting behind the bike thinking that we're gonna go up. I don't know if you can see him back there. Um, anyway, uh, I thought I would help uh, or just uh, make this short video to tell you how I made this thing because uh, I went through a couple iterations before deciding on this and it has worked super super well like I said this this piece is about 10 years old um, I used poly uh, layered wood instead of MDF I used MDF at first um, I also toyed with metal but you can see the edge of this here is is a, a poly layered uh, thing so the board costs about 10 or 12 dollars and then I measured it to the width of my uh, Suzuki DL1000 here with the GV bags on it. And it's important to remember that you can only go as far as you can get the bags open, right? So you want to be able to still open your side bags and probably not have the board sit on top of the bags very much. Um, my, my board tucks right in kind of underneath the GV back suitcase, uh, which is also super helpful. And then I drilled holes in the board, four big holes, almost big, as big as, a, uh, as if you're doing a lock set in a door. And so you can see, I'll just put the board like this for a second, that there are four holes here, along with steel bars to uh, reinforce where I'm putting the webbing around the frame of the bike. Um, and so that's super important. So you can see that these that the webbing or that the webbing will hit this metal and so there's a piece of webbing this thick webbing right here um, this is actually a cheaper webbing i think it's a 2,000 pound test so you could pull a small car out of the mud but a very small car only um, but this goes all the way around through these two holes all the way around the frame that's underneath the seat of the bike and uh, i cinch that really tight and that i found that that i thought that might be enough but it didn't seem super secure and it was kind of wobbling back and forth a little bit so i added these other two holes here and here now here i put the piece of steel right in the center of the hole as you can see right there in the center of the hole and that's so i can get this webbing to go under on both sides of that of that hole and around that piece of steel and the reason i do that is uh, i add i so th this webbing goes straight down to the frame underneath the bike so all bikes underneath the seat have a piece of the frame right so now we have the bocce board as being attached to the frame in four, four points. One, two, with one piece of webbing, then a separate piece of webbing for the right, and another separate piece of webbing for the left. The webbing that I use for the right and left, since that ends up taking most of the, most of the force of the dog, and if he moves around, or uh, even if we've fallen over, this is a super high test mountain climbing rope. Uh, the word you need to remember is tubular webbing and it's got a several thousand pound rating on it. And you can cinch this down if you put it, uh, Bachu is 45 pounds, so you put him on the bike, ride for 10 minutes, then stop, then you could just cinch everything down again, especially if it's loaded up. These things on the side that are here, these are just simple little brackets uh, that I put on, and this is where the uh, sleeping bag goes and then the tent on the other side. And this kind of blocks Bachi in a little bit and makes him feel comfortable. He likes to uh, push his butt against this one and put his face over here. Uh, and then some words on safety. So then Bachi is attached to the board with this, another high test circular uh, climbing rope and a human car carabiner. Uh, and this goes through his rough wear vest. Rough wear makes this great hunting vest that's super, super high uh, um, strength and you can lift the dog out of the water with it. I think that's the purpose of it. Anyway, it's a really cool vest. Uh, it costs like 45 bucks rough wear and it's got this cloth handle and I you can't break it And so that's where bocce gets attached to the board and then the board is attached in four ways to the frame of the bike um, And then I think finally uh, you want to make sure that your dog has some goggles. So hey bocce there he is <laughs> Hi, buddy. So some doggles for his eyes and then also uh, Don't forget to put cotton in his ears because you uh, after you know wind is really loud and we're wearing helmets So we don't know uh, as much, but uh, I found that on longer trips and I practiced at home for a little while putting that cotton in his ears, but that's the way to, to kind of save his hearing despite him having gone deaf now at 13. Anyway, um, yeah, see, he wants to come up on the, <laughs> he wants to come up on the bocce board now. It's not locked in, buddy. Good to see you. Okay, 
um, so that's I think that's about it. Uh, you know, leave comments below and send me what you've done. This is just a this is just uh, my iteration, but it has worked for 10 years and lasted quite a long time. It also doesn't hurt to take this ply board after you cut it out. I guess I'll go into one more thing. You want to shellac this baby like crazy. So definitely, I think I put three or four layers on it. So it's completely waterproof. It's like really, really durable. And I also added this backrest. And this backrest, you can see underneath, it's just attached by some very simple, simple nuts and bolts. And, um, uh, and that's 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 really been handy for uh, for both me to lean against and for Bocce to lean against, and that's that's been awesome. There's usually a towel here too when I, it's actually all set up. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, be safe out there. Keep yourself and your dogs vertical. I hope this helps.